Wow. And Coach Leg, Coach Pew up here joins us as always on a Thursday morning. You got a big one this week, Coach Leg. Yes, sir. Friday night at home, Madison County High School. Will you be packed out? I hope so. Yeah, it's up. biggest game, next game, and they're probably the best opponent we've faced so far. This is what seventh game of the season. Yes, sir. Yeah, you what six and one? Uh, yes, sir. Probably be seven and one after uh, this week. We got Madison County Friday night. I hope we play better. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Pugh, man, you can't catch a break this year. Uh, we're all right. We just got Hartsel this week. Y'all football <laughs> fans, you are. <laughs> Tell you what, uh, we walked in there uh, Friday. They've got a since last year. They have a turf field, muscle and, show, and a two about. million dollar. Uh, Facility with a weight room and an indoor 35-yard football field. Kind of like all Hartzell's got. Mm. It is. And, did um, you see Dennis Holman? Did not get to see Dennis Holman. Oh. We ran into your lovely bride and boy down at uh, Lindsey Lane Sunday, since we're attending Lindsey Lane nowadays. Ran into them and uh, just probably working. I was. And we didn't get a chance to make it to your house. Sad. We went to Dr. Alan Coleman's. He cooked for us after we all of our mama started bowing them out. And I said, "Time to go. I'm getting tired." <laughs> so. Uh, so for, Muscle Shoals has that kind of a facility. Yeah, it, um, they, you know, I know Hartzell's uh, just got a new facility also, but I tell you what, Muscle Shoals, it uh, really looks like he's got it going on. It look, it's like a really like a small college there. And what have they given up point-wise? It's just bare minimum. I think nine. Hartzell scored, uh, Hartzell may have scored nine on them. Um, I think that score was like 24 to nine. I think everybody else, they, they pretty much blank. Looking at this thing statewide, you probably have to be in the worstest, toughest division in the state. Yeah, you know, we got uh, real good news last week. Uh, Decatur's coming down, so they may be in our region next year. Oh, wow. So think about that. So the West Point's probably going to drop out. But you're going to stay in, in you'll stay in there. We'll stay 5A. Would you like to move? We're going to be close. We're actually going to be within about 25 students of being 4A. Really? So that's going to be tough on but us. But I would think y'all would be getting more and more students there. We've actually got 160 students less. If they were to count our 9th, 10th, and 11th this year, we may be 4A. That's how close we're going to be. That would be good uh, for you. Well, it would be, um, but I don't, I don't foresee it happening. I think we're going to be one of the smaller 5As. That's where it's going to be. You just got to lump through it. That's all it is to Hold it. You know, um, we got to. We have to do so. We have to beat somebody that we're not supposed to beat. Yeah. Right now, we're beating the teams that everybody thinks we will beat, but we haven't done a good job of playing up to par with the good teams in our region. That's what we have to do. Got to be tough. And Clint, in your case, man, phenomenal first year coaching up at Ardmore. Yeah, I mean we we've done better, and we're getting better. I hope and. I hope we can get more interested in football and get more out, and it would help us out in the long run. They're still cool. looking for the rock, Jamie, yeah. to chisel, chisel that head out. They got once they get past the head, <laughs> that, the body will be easy. And don't forget to tonight, steak night up at Zeke's place over Highway 50. All right, let's talk a little college football right now. Alabama will be a blowout, obviously, probably against Arkansas. Auburn, Ole Miss. What do you guys think? Auburn, I mean, Ole A&M. Yeah, excuse me, not Johnny They beat them last week. Johnny yeah. football, man. The family goes down again. Uh -huh. Texas I'm going with Auburn in an upset. Oh, they're not going to beat you. Well, <laughs> Fred said in my ear, we're screwed because he's Auburn fan. <laughs> right, what about the big one, Clemson, uh, Florida State? Uh, I'm going to say Florida State. Clemson. I'm going to go with Clemson myself. Zach Clemson. Yeah, I think they'll probably slide in there. I don't know of any other real big ones that we do. What about Missouri, Florida? Uh, that's going to be tough. That's going to be hard to call. But I think Florida beat them. That quarterback meant a lot to Missouri. Yeah, well, yeah, they game, so anyway, Missouri shocked me when they beat uh, Georgia. Stomped up on Georgia, one. man. I get back from the Falkwell Fall Festival, man. I'm today. We called that. We said they had too many hurt players. That's right. Listen to Try us. I tell you, man. <laughs> you did. I said, oh, you're a coach. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Anyway, thank y'all for coming up here and being part of the show, man. I look forward to working with y'all the rest of the season. Here. Hey, I want to go out. Last uh, Friday, the Riders of the Sky were coming from Riders National down the, the Princess Theater. And what? <laughs> Riders in the Sky. In the Sky. What did I say? Of, of the, the Sky. sky. Well, they could be on the Sky, too. Don't worry about it. Don't rush it. They stopped there.
their motor home out in our parking lot. I got on there, they were all changing clothes. Now I see the riders in the sky in their underwear. Yeah. Uh, but they got ready to come in. They put on quite a performance in here free for us. We haven't had a chance to air in that video yet because we've been so busy with everything else. So right now we'll take a few minutes to run some of that video from right here in the They won two Grammy Awards for Toy Story. And Monsters Inc. And Monsters Inc. And they were Great. honored to have them in here. Here's some of that interview with them and some songs. We'll be back in just a moment. Y'all hang on. Great honor all this morning here to have some very talented musicians. But before that, but before they get here, but before they get before they get here, we got riders in the sky in here. Just happen to be playing in Decatur on this day at the Princess Theater. However, they're going to be with us right now for quite some time. Played the Fiddler's Convention two years ago. Yes, we did. They going to come back, Frank? Yeah. Yeah, we have to come back. So we're going to shout out for that. We're going to get a few songs out of them. Then we're going to talk to them. Are y'all mainly a kid's band or y'all do adult music too? <laughs> We're a boy band. Boy band, that's what I thought. I could tell by looking around at you guys. Yeah. Boy band, you know, they're popular these days. They used to be. Yeah, Cooper and Company, local and love it. <laughs> you got it? Got it. I'm going to let them play one, then I'm going to come back and talk to them because I'm going to find out what they do with all the money because these maybe, guys are famous. Maybe Ranger Doug needs some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I got some. Ranger, you ready? I'm so ready. You need to go with me this afternoon. We'll have a real good time. All right. All right. Let's turn them loose and then we'll meet all of them. Y'all hang on. Here's right. Riders in the Sky. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Hey! 